Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to the episode of The Tenants. Where guys, last episode we bought a brand new property. And that brand new property was purchased in the slums because, you know, we were making, we were basically doing all those jobs, making all that money. Things are now slightly a little bit cheaper for us. And we're now turning over 30,000 big ones every month. Now that house that we did buy last episode if i can quickly find it which i believe it was i think it was prospect street here i could be wrong no actually it was it 100 was it's not perfect i kind of ran out a little bit of money so once that tenant leaves we're going to get back over there renovate a bit more get the rating a little bit higher uh, and uh, get somebody new there to kind of make some serious cash but today i'm hoping we can complete this goal here the best landlord ever. And basically, what we need to do is reach a tenant happiness of at least um, 80, I assume, in the 120 days that that tenant is there. Now, right now, this is my tenant happiness. You can see right now the relationship is pretty high. Uh, the happy is 60, 60. It's not the best, but we need to get it super duper happier. Now, this person living here right now uh, is 68. Is that our highest one that we kind of have? We can't sort it by happiness, can we? Um, oh, we have a job-related tenant right now? Didn't even realize that. Did not even realize it. So I'm wondering what we can do to potentially make this person happier. And by the looks of it, we're going to have to wait for them to come back from, from work. Here they are. So they're going to phone me right now. Uh, going to send in a pro real quick so I ain't got to do the work for myself. So while they do that... What is their issue then? So are they are they not happy because, um, I don't know, they're hungry or something like that? Are they not happy right now because they're currently infested? Let's find out. So they're super happy that I fixed everything. So that means they're now 81. If I could keep them to this point, I would complete that one. Providing that they've been there 120 days, obviously. Now this dude over here right now, um, right, where is he? He's over here in, in, in the... Up, yeah, he's... He's chilling. He's definitely chilling. Now, what's the reason he's not 100% kind of happy with me? It's, it's kind of neutral. I don't think I've had much interaction with him right now. I assume. So that would be interesting. But I'm hoping I can get it done anyway. But in the meantime, we need to get a few bits and bobs done. A few jobs done. So I can make a little bit more extra cash. Because I need to renovate that other property, basically. So let's do a little babysitting job on the go right now. So that will earn me some money in the background. And these peeps here want me to renovate a bathroom. So let's get this done as quick as possible. Because I'm hoping in that 50 day turn that we've got to wait. That person leaves and I get that quest completely finished. Please. Right, I've done this one quite a fair a few times. So that's quite a nice little bathroom there. Now, how much have I got? I've got like five grand left to play with. So we'll go we'll go over a decent bathtub. There we go. Shower cabin. Well, you know, all expense no expense spared, boys. There we go. Uh bathroom sink. We'll go with this one. Let me spin it around this way. Well bam. Uh washing machine. I've got like three thousand left. So okay, we'll go a bit cheaper on the washing machine. Because there is a couple of little bits of preferred furniture. I'm, I want to try and hope I can get like some type of a bonus. Now I need a toilet. That is one thing I'm not really getting in just yet. So we'll, we'll, we'll splash out on the cash on the toilet. Now let me go to the bathroom section here so I can tear through this. We've got a plunger down. We've got uh, the toilet brush. Hoping we can get the toilet roll holder just on the very side there. There we go. So we do need a mirror, which will place this above right now the sink. We need a rug. So we'll get a nice large-ish rug in there. Uh, a drying rack, so we spin this right round. Uh, so that pretty much completes everything that we potentially need. But of course, got to get it to 100% to make this place extra special. So we'll get a nice little towel rack uh, just there. So the decor doesn't kind of finish it all off, but we'll add in some extra stuff right now. Uh, right, so we've got 800 and something remaining, so we get like a nice large plant. Right there. I'll get a wall plant in. Hang that up just there. So wall decor and a dresser. We'll get the... This is technically classed as wall decor, the little calendar. And it needs a dresser as well. A dresser <laughs> as well. So let's squeeze on there, bin. That's a cabinet. Uh, that's a cabinet. Where's a, what's a, Hold on. What's a dresser then? Oh, it's one of these. 
Alright, that's a, a slightly smallish one I can squeeze in just there. And that's got everything it potentially wants. 100% decor. Let's complete and deliver that job. Easy enough. I'm happy with it. So, in terms of the tenants right now then, 79% uh, happy. So does the happiness, I mean, I'm not sure 100% what the happiness is all basically relied upon. But this dude right now doesn't seem that happy with me. Like, have I done something wrong? I, I don't know. Why have you now gone below 80? 80. Knowing that it can go below 80, this kind of shows that, yikes. Things could potentially change super quick. 78 is getting less and less happy with me right now. Hmm. It's quite a tough one, but we've got a good relationship. That's all I can really say. We've got a, a solid relationship. I don't know. That's 58. How do I keep it so high? That's the question. Oh, this person's really unhappy with me right now. Where are they? Oh, this is not even my tenant, so I'm not even that bothered. But they're about to phone me right now anyway. Um, uh, sending a pro. All good. Sweet, mate. So, we're doing that one then. I could do this on a new little music studio. I always kind of um, find the music studios a little bit more difficult. Because they don't really give you much money. The pay is not really that good anyway. But they don't really give you that much money to play with. Now, I always find you've got to build... Or... Yeah, well, you've got to build the stuff before you place anything in. So, okay, speakers, trophies, shelves, audio systems. So, audio system, this is really all I've got to pretty much work with right now. Uh, speakers, we'll get one of these bad boys. Well, we'll get two of these, so to say, either side. That's a nice little system I've got created right there. We'll give him a little bit of an armchair so he can kind of sit down, relax, facing his sound system, going tss, 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 in his ears right now. We'll get a, a nice kind of decent shelf there that can be able to store a few little bits and bobs on, like uh, a gramophone. Very expensive gramophone right there. Whew, damn. Now we get a, we get a Rubik's Cube there. We get a little pot just there. Uh, there's another decoration that could be needed as well. Some candles. Can I put these on top? I can hang some candles off the side of the shelf. <laughs> so a little trophy then. We'll have this hanging up. We'll put his pride possession in the middle of the speaker system. Uh, a piano. Oh, that's what I mean. We've got just about enough to squeeze a piano in. Uh, I need a chair for the piano. And then it's the flooring and the wall and stuff. So if I go really, really cheap, because I literally do not know if I've got enough money. to See, I don't even have enough money to fix everything. Ooh, like, how much cheaper can I go? Like, sell you. Right, for the sake of then the walls. I've gone to the cheapest than the walls. This what I mean, this job... I just feel like this job is, is, is tough. Right, I'm really sorry, but you're going to have to go cheap on you. I've gone cheap on quite a lot of stuff there, but still. Damn. Tough call that one is, isn't it? So, it's only sent decor. So, I assume that's like, you know, I ain't going to do much else. That's what you pretty much assume, isn't it? You ain't got to do much else at that point. Um, okay, we've got a problem. Sending a pro. That came up my own money because it's my own tenant. Maybe I should have sent my uncle in. I'm so foolish. Please leave me alone. There we go. Uh, but that will get done very soon. And then, bam, there we go. Uh, what's the relationship like right now? The happiness, 74. See, with that, with that four process right now, nothing's really going to change, is it? Um... Nothing's really going to change for us. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to complete that goal at all at this point. How do I make them super duper happy? Can I phone them up and go, hey, can you be happier, please? This dude's having loads of issues. So many issues right now. Uh, but this dude here is my my best option. I think it's a dude anyway. It's called Aiden, so I assume. Hey, Aiden, how you doing? Um, yeah. There's nothing really much I can do about this. Wait for this. Get out the... Uh, there we go. Um, sociable, creative, diligence. He's currently happy with everything right now. There's not really much I can do to kind of interact with him, is there? He's phoning somebody. It best not be me. So, some over here wants to renegotiate their lease. So, negotiate a lease extension. Happiness has gone down slightly. So, make offer. Just accept it to have someone in there. 
I assume, yeah. Why not? Why not? 31,000. So somehow we've managed to get a little bit extra cash coming out of um, our bank account right there, which is all good. All right, sweet. So 36,000 I got in the bank. She wants to now renew another tenancy. Go ahead and do it for me, please. That will be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, so 36,000 now in the bank then. So, oh my goodness me, we've got more extensions coming in for the... Oh, she managed to get it. Nice. Okay, I'm only losing $22 a month. Yeah, it's not enough that I, you know, that would be a big issue for me. So that's kind of okay. Um, jobs then. Ooh, is that the, that's the hunter's cabin. Okay, we'll accept that. And we'll also get a babysitting job on the go. So before we jump into it, we've got 39 days remaining on this. I don't see how I'm getting that happiness up even higher. It's like they need to have a problem right before. Um, so who is this person here? It's this person there who is 49. So if I say, okay, I've made her happy to 63 by saying that she can pay the rent at a later date. That makes me a good landlord, but also a very poor landlord. Right, let's get this done then, because this is always a fun one to get done. And by fun, it's quite long-winded. you got to do a lot of stuff. So restore as much as I can, because I ain't going to buy it. Which is always a big help. And go a bit more extravagant then on some of the other rooms to hopefully get that better rating and potentially um, get a little bit of a bonus payment. Oh, we didn't manage to do that one then, so dispose of that. All right, can he do these, this last one? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Right, nice. Right, Uncle, dispose of that and then get out of here, boy. Gonna get a nice big 10G payment minimum from this, which is always a big help. There we go. Exit premises, yes. So begin the renovations then. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you gotta get thrown into it. Now, I, I, I've done this one so much, I've got like a default that I go with, default design. Uh, but I'm not gonna be able to do all of it because this is slightly in the way. So if I just put you there. Just put you there. Just put you there, the items. Oh, hold on. Did she get that extension, by the way? Yes, and how much are we losing? Okay, it's pennies. I don't mind. So yeah, this is my def... I, I can pretty much almost borderline build this in my sleep. This one. So doors, doors, doors. So if we start with the bedroom then, put the bed in this room here. So walls then. Oh, I'm going to go into this one. So I haven't put any doors on yet, but don't worry. Hardwood floor... Brown walls, and they want a single bed. So I get the single bed just here. Now they did want in there a fur rug, which we could utilize this one. And there we go. Uh, they want a desk in, so spin that around just to here. Uh, we get a desk chair in. Now they want a wardrobe, which we could be able to squeeze that in. Very good, very good, very good. And a bunch of hunting trophies. So we'll get the little fish one there. We get this little fish one. Just there. And we'll squeeze one on this side. Some antlers just there. And that completes the bedroom. The decor is not 100% just yet, but we'll see what budget we have remaining uh, to be able to complete it. So kitchen-wise then, um, oh, we got the bathroom. So we'll do the kitchen in this room. We're always going to put it in this room. Uh, so we need a refrigerator. So how much have I... Oh, hold on. we got this little fish thing here. Hold on. Move that in there. So how much have we kind of got left from it? 19,000. Okay, it's a decent amount of money. So we'll go for the kitchen sink next. There we go. Oh, damn. That's kind of scared me. Uh, kitchen cabinet. So we need, we need a couple of these kitchen cabinets right now. There we go. We've got a fire pit because obviously this is the hunter's cabin. We need a teapot. We need another kitchen cabinet. Oh, snap, we do, yeah. Right, okay. Can I, okay, if I move this, can I squeeze it in there? Oh, look at that. That's perfect there. That all lines up perfect. So, flooring, walls, the kitchen's done. So, sending a pro. There we go. Kitchen all done. Then the bathroom. So quite a lot needs to get thrown into this, so we do this um, strategically. So first things first, 
the bath, which is going to be there. So actually, I'll just throw it here instead. The shower cabin, again, we've got a decent bit of money, so I'll flip this right round into the corner. Uh, the toilet will squeeze right there, so everything's still accessible. Uh, the bathroom sink I'll throw just here, so everything's still accessible. Yes, it is. Washing machine, throw in this corner just here. And then we need all the little stuff then, like uh, the toilet paper, which... Would it still work there? No. Right, for the sake of it having all, it all working, I'm going to throw it there. Toilet brush here. Uh, towel rack will get up there because, <laughs> you know, dangerous, boys, dangerous. Plunger, and then finally a mirror. There we go. And then just doing all the floor and stuff. So we'll go quite jazzy with that floor. We'll get that type of walls in. That's done. So, this is what I mean by it's quite long-winded to get, like, this job done, but you get 10,000 minimum before your bonus. So, this then, this is interesting. Now, we've already got a hunting trophy, which is that, the fish. We've got the fur rug already. So, technically, we don't need this. So, if I just put it there in that room, because it adds a little bit of decor, because we can get loads of stuff added in here right now. If I add the little fur rug at the very end, and then we'll start with the couch then. So, couch-wise, I'll place you just there. So, we need a couple of armchairs right now. Hold on, can I do it the other way around? Hold on, hang on, couch. We do it this way instead. Like, if I placed that there, can I create a corner? armchair system right that there oh I'll spin you right round there we go bam how many more armchairs do we need so we kind of create like a little miniature corner sofa in a way um fireplace them which will go how much have I got remain okay I still got quite a bit of money right there firewood we we'll get one there, one there. We need one more, so I'll just kind of like throw it there, just because. Uh, hunted trophy, trophies then, you up there, and then we'll get another one just there. So we need another fur rug, which we'll just throw just here. We need a trophy. I'll hang up just there. We need a dummy weapon. Oh, damn. Let me spin that round. Oh, whoa, the lag. Right, drop one there and one above it. So I need a clock. So we've got enough money for a grandfather clock. There we go. And we need some wall cabinets as well. I've never understood why we need wall cabinets in this building. But if it wants it, it's going to get it. So we've got, again, a fair bit of money left over. So we'll go all out now on the walls and flooring. There we go. Oh, and a shelf as well. We're missing the shelf. So I'll throw that in just there. So that pretty much completes the living room. That's all done. But there's still a few little bits and bobs in some of the rooms where we can really engage and add more for the decoration in. So with the last little bit of remaining money that we do have, we're going to place in some plants. And this is where we're going to start to bring the place to life a little bit. So hanging wall plant. There we go. So wherever I can get it in, I'm going to squeeze it in. Can I get it just here? Yep. So decor already on these, these rooms. We've done 100% there and there, almost there, and halfway there as well. So we've got a normal uh, well, fur rugs in. We'll get the normal ones in. That's now 70%. What am I missing to kind of incorporate these rooms a bit more as a living room? It says here. So we did a coffee table. Small decoration. So we do a small plant as well. How much is remaining right now? Uh, yep, yeah, handle it for me, please. Appreciate it. So wall decor. Is that a wall decor? No, it's a wall clock. Damn it. Right, there we go. Uh, so coffee table then. So I need to go to the, the lounge area. 
get a little bit of a coffee table in just there. And then get a Rubik's Cube on the table. And that is now 100%. So the bedroom then, what are we missing here then? So, um, wall plant, we did a small plant. Now this is where I really am running out of money. Uh, small decoration. So I get a trophy first. Small decoration. Where's my Rubik's Cube? Right, throw it on the floor. It's sixty-four percent with a thousand remaining. We'll do the we we'll do the old the old switcheroo, the old painting. Right, got an extension for me. Nice. Where's the painting going? Mm, I haven't got much room to play with, have I? So I might not be able to get a painting in at all. A little poster. Well, no. If I ain't getting a painting, I ain't getting a poster in. So a clock. Puts me at then 65%. Got a trophy in. Picture cabinet, wall shelf. Do you know what? If that's the only room is not 100%, it is what it is. So deliver that job. I'll be happy with that. I should be happy with it, shouldn't I? So problem right now, send my uncle in to fix it because you are the babysitting job and all the money is completely run out. So I can't afford to get that fixed by a pro. Oh, I just so happen to have to fix it myself. All right, get him out of here. So we've now got then in the bank 54,000. Exit. That's all done. My current tenant then, my best one is 66. I wish we could make you happier. Do it. Sweet. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So is that job now all reviewed up? That's a little fast forward. Got an extension, nice. Off they go. So I'm hoping then that gave me a good review. No, it was only a four star. Oh, we did get a bonus though, two grand. So I can't complain. I mean, I can't complain at that point, can I? I really can't. I really can't. Right. Messages. We got the extension. Sweet. Um, got rats. I'll send in a pro. All good. All good. So at this point then, oh, it's now neutral. What have I got to do to make them happier? Like seriously, what? Oh, no. Oh, you're happy. That's because I just, I literally just done that thing for you. Got rid of the rats. Right, I send a pro. That has now available to buy the one I just renovated. Wow. Okay. So if I buy that then, do I stop getting that job? Interesting, right? Now, my stunning kills right now is this person here. This is Caitlin Ponce. She is this lady here at 68 happiness. Yeah, not going to be able to get her to 80. I don't know what more I've got to do. Negotiate a lease. I mean, she's happy. Make offer. Well, is she really going to pay over 10 grand? Need 12 grand she's accepting to pay. Ha <laughs> ha! 32,000 are now making. So much cash coming in. Uh, to the point where now we've got 73,000 in the bank. Am I rich? Or am I just rich? I'm rich, rich. So how happy is she now? 66. So am I going to like literally let the tenancy end? I don't know how that works. I really don't. I really don't know how that kind of works. But everyone's got really long tenancies right now. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get that done anytime soon. So I, I, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Um, okay, so jobs available. We'll do two more jobs right now in the suburbs and we'll then head back to the slums. So we we'll obviously want to get a babysitting job set up and uh, someone to renovate the apartment to meet their standards. There's a high budget, good, decent money. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, we'll accept it. That's good money. I'll accept that. It's a huge building as well. So your boy now has to fix a lot of stuff. And by your boy, I mean you, you, my uncle. 
Right, get in there, boy. There we go. Fix that crack in the wall. Oh, I've just clicked off off the uh, the puddle, which means he I've, I've got to start his route all over again. Right, see if I can restore it because I could sell it or whatever. But it's going to be quite a big job to get this done. But again, if I can get that bonus, I should get over ten grand for the whole job in its entirety. Every penny counts at this point. Especially when I'm saving up again to buy a new property. But I need to get back to the slums anyway because I got that property I bought last episode, I gotta add a few more little bits and bobs to it to kinda get a higher paying tenant. So yeah. That's what we gotta do. Caitlin Ponce. Fine. Why couldn't you brought this up? Before I renewed your tenancy, you're so close to having 80 happiness. Shocking. Absolutely shocking right now. Right, we're waiting then. Oh, snap. He's done. I was about to say then we're waiting, but he's actually done. <laughs> actually, what is this stuff anyway? There is a... Uh, I can sell that. I'm going to actually salvage that. I'm going to salvage all of it. I'm going to salvage all of it. All right, he's got one more to go. And then we can kick him out. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here right now. Get out of here, boy. Right, so. Exit the premises. All done. And now we officially get to see what have we got to throw into this. So by minimizing it all first, there is actually technically only one bedroom. So these can actually be quite big rooms in a way, aren't they? So let's do what I naturally feel like is going to be a room. Um, I feel like they're the natural rooms and that's like the natural kind of layout set up. In a weird way, like this is the living room area, and it's huge. Unless I just kind of like bulk that across, and that's how we have it. So doors, one there, one there, one there, one there, and okay. So I forgot in the last few properties about doors. We've got new doors that we can now tackle. Fancy doors, might I add? So bedrooms. Then let's have this one as the bedroom here. So all it requires is a singular bed. No, a desk. Oh, I know I know this one. I've done this one before. I always remember by certain stuff that we got to place down. So a decent TV, video games console, uh, a laptop. Because once you do jobs all the time, you kind of then understand ways in which you can combine stuff. Bam, and bam. Bedroom. Believe it or not, bedroom done. It's not perfect. Like, they're going to moan. But I'll, i, I got to see how much money I've got left over. So, fridge for the kitchen. Because you've also got to do the garden as well. That's something else that we got to remember. Uh, the cooker. The kitchen cabinet. Kitchen equipment, we'll put a little kettle down. Nice blue floor. Nice red walls. And it's quite jazzy to the eye. But they will enjoy it. They will enjoy it. So if I go bathroom then. Oh, we got this little corner sink. That's amazing. I like that. Didn't even realize we had that at the minute. So quite a big bath. Uh, get the toilet in. I'm going to put the toilet just here. Get the brush in. Get the toilet roll holder. I need the plunger. I need a towel rack by the looks of it. I need a shower. There we go. 
and then just doing all the tiling right now. We'll go quite white in colour and a light blue to kind of finish all that off. So, oh, we're missing a washing machine. So, washing machine, it's quite a big bathroom, isn't it? It's really weird. The logistics of all this. Uh, living room then, which means we can have one room free. So, I'll use this here as the living room. So, TV. Big boy on the wall. Couch. Now, yeah, couch and armchair. So, if I utilize this one, like that. Now, how did it work? Yeah, if I do it there, then armchair. Because I've recently discovered I can now create a corner sofa. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, shelf, then, we'll get. Uh, we'll get you just there. So I can throw the DVD player on it at that point. So carpet, walls, they kind of go together and it's pretty cool. Now I've gone pretty skimpy and pretty cheap right there because I don't really know what they want in the garden. So again, please garden, don't break my bank account. Grill. Decoration, I can get like little gnomes in or one of these in. Tree, $99 trees. And that's done. So, you know what? I ain't going to mess about anymore because I want to get back to the slums and get the other stuff all set up and done. So, let this happen. Let it do what it's got to do. Leave it as that. So, my heater stop working. We will send in a pro. Because i got a few days wait for this to kind of get done as well. So this isn't, this isn't my best work, and trust me, I've done some terrible work. But it should it should at least give me the eight grand. So I think they're now walking out. They're going to be skedaddling out of here. I'd like to see what I actually got. Oh, <gasps> a vintage kitchen. Yes, please. Right. Okay. What well, I wanted to originally do then? What did I get for a review on that? It'd be funny if I got a five star. I got a four star though. That's still pretty good. I can't complain too much. So we're pretty much waiting for this job over here to be done. Uh, Seventy-two. It's weird how, like, as time goes on, they become more and more neutral. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? So just waiting for this to then finish, and then we can hopefully jump. Yeah, taking place. I think it's about to finish. And then out they should then skedaddle. Bam. So that then leaves me with a total of 85,000 now in the bank. None of these are going to be happy. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Maybe I just need to make a, I need to kind of pick a, 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 like, a, like one of the houses, go all out, add in like some of the most expensive stuff that I still got in my inventory. So when someone rents that place, the happiness stays really high from all of the the amazing stuff that we kind of have within there but um it's a difficult one isn't it it is it is pretty much a, a difficult one but let's hopefully we can um, complete that additional building in the slums right now that we bought last episode i've i can't remember where we pretty much left that building off i think i just rented it out for the sake of just getting some money coming into my bank account but i want to see where are we currently at? Oh, we actually have a babysitting job that's getting reviewed right now too. So that'll give me a little bit extra cash. I completely forgot about that. So buildings that are currently available right now. Quarter of a million. Uh, 196,000. 197,000 right now. Over here we have... Yep, you're very expensive. Any more lying around or is that it? That can't be the only ones that are currently available. Do you know what? I think it might be. Yeah, it might be. So we've got eighty-eight thousand in the bank right now. Then after that little um, little journey that just happened, and in terms of our properties, then so we're looking at a prospect place over here. So there was still a lot of room to add into this building. Now this person would have been here for quite some time, which is, I believe, is it Matilda? Yeah, seventy-one days she's still got available at this place. That's quite tough. It is quite tough, but we can learn a lot from these people anyway. 
So you can see she's a housekeeper, she's a gamer, so it can be very, very beneficial to have like a gaming system in here for her. But you just never know because like, you don't know who you're going to rent it to. I mean, you can choose to have a gamer rent it if you have all the gaming set up added in. But you just never know who's going to walk through that door when you kind of get things rocking and rolling. Now for me to break that tenancy with her, which is, where is it? For me to break it, it's going to cost me 4800 And that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, so maybe we'll just kind of hold out for just a moment. I think we'll just hold out for just a moment right now. I really want this to go up for sale. Like, really bad. Uh, okay, jobs. So, full renovation apartment, 3000 It doesn't really feel like worth it. Okay, that's pretty decent. We'll grab that. Once we create a new bathroom, we'll grab this as well real quick. And we'll kind of get these done while we pretty much wait in. So a quick, simple bathroom. We could do this fairly quickly. So a shower or cabin. So I'll go for a nice little shower just there. Uh, bath. How much have we got? Okay, again, decent amount of cash. Sink in. Toilet in. Toilet brush. Toilet paper. Get the plunger in next. Nice little towel rack. So we've got loads of money left over, so we'll go big on the um, the wall and the floor in. And but it's not still it's not perfect just yet anyway. There's still a fair few things I can add in to get that lucrative five star. -er. Little plant just there, we get a little uh, welcome mat because they always like to have mats in the bathrooms. Now we'll get a Okay, I can't get something that size in, but we'll get a little rug in. A little plant just there. We'll go for a wall plant next. Uh, a wall clock is also needed as well. Uh, other stuff that will kind of complement the bathroom is like having a mirror in. So that straight away it becomes a... It's, it's a 93, so they're, they're, they'll be happy with that. I think they'll be happy with that. Let's just deliver that job at this point. So again, decent cash coming in the bank. So we'll fast forward them. That'll get them pretty soon. Wait for him to walk out. You can just see him down there right now. He's like a little ant. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. That is done. 90000 now in the bank. So I could get like a $100,000 loan and then buy one of these properties over here, but I don't want to go down that road. Not yet anyway. Might do in the future. You never know. Um, but... Oh, this always annoys me, this does. It really does. Uh, that person, 68%. So, everywhere that we are right now, we have a couple of tenancies coming to an end very soon anyway. Uh, send a pro in. But I think, do we just kind of pay the money to kick her out? Right, you know what, I'm gonna. Damn, my phone went crazy then, didn't it? Legit went crazy. But properties, let's go over to Prospect Street right now. And let's add in those finishing touches. So, as of right now, it is a 162. But there's still so much more I can do to it to kind of improve it. So, it says here, bedroom, it needs a bed. It has a bed, but for some reason decided that this fan is in the wrong position. So, we've got the kitchen, we got the living room. There was room for a dining room in here. There is room for a little dining section. It's also classed as a kitchen, so... If I move the rad over on this side... And is it too much to move the fuse box there, or is it in the way? No, we're okay. For the for the hopes in which we could squeeze a little bit of a table there. So we've got a little bench there, which is kind of nice. Is that table just like a little bit too big, do you reckon? Do we know, like, thinner tables? But then again, if you're going to go all out, go all out, right? So if I added in that there, does that not block off the whole apartment? They're able to walk through that little gap, apparently. Apparently so. Um, right, so we'll get decent chairs, then. And that works, weirdly enough. That puts it at 194, that puts it up to. 
Bedrooms, 137. Bathroom is 127. Wow. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't really want to utilize anything in here because I want to save that for a really fancy place. But there is room to add in with like a few more additional decorations here right now. Like a nice clock on the wall. I get like an expensive vase in the center just for no reason whatsoever. And that puts me at then a, a 206 for this room. Small decoration. Um, get some pictures and paintings on the wall. 212. Well, I ain't going to get any better than that. So let's leave. And that makes this property at a 180. See, I'll be able to get a, like an extra five hundred dollars from rent. Well, from like oh, wrong one. From um, you know, putting this on the market. So, begin open house radio. Let's see what we can get up with them. A little fast forward them, and then slowly wait for people to have um, opinions. One peeps fall in love with it. Fall in love with it right now. Whoa. I mean, she's not really overly keen, is she? Yeah. Everyone's like, meh. God, do you not see how amazing this place is? Whoa. She's like, F I'm kicking her out. Ask her to leave. Right, come on. Someone have a better opinion. She's exceptional. All right. And he, good. Her, exceptional. So who's got the most money? <laughs> oh, she's an alcoholic. She's a gay. Oh, see, another gamer. We don't really have a gaming setup. I'll negotiate anyway. So far, I can push it. There we go. He's fine. She's good. She's gone back down to good, so maybe she's not the person for me. Whoa. Yeah. All right. right, hold on. Let me just get this done. Right, good. 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 I feel like I'm not going to be able to rent this place out. Exceptional janitor can negotiate. Negotiate. Make offer. Make offer. She's already coming at seven grand. Make off at. Well, I say seven grand. 7,700 already. Amazing. Amazing money. So, cut them some slack. Try and keep my tenants happy. And go back to the suburbs. That's all I gotta do. Wait, did I get the money for that babysitting job? I can't remember if I did or not. Oh, did I do it? I can't. I, you know what? I can't quite remember if I did or not. Sadiac, you're a fool! You damn foolio right now. You are so, so foolish. Okay. Okay. Right, so. Got extra money over there right now. So it'll be interesting to see what I'm actually now bringing in. Because we've slightly improved and increased that property. Which is interesting. So, 97,000 now in the bank. The most money we've had so far at this point today. And we are now officially making almost 33,000. That's pretty good, right? There's no vacancies right now, but there's a few places that, you know, were potentially going to go up for renewal soon. Our tenants, the happiest one we've got right now is Kayleen over here. She's got a while before she is even that happy to complete that right now. Just saying. Properties over here, it's still pretty expensive. That is the most affordable one we've got over here right now, Oral Lake. We have one over here. So maybe we look at towards buying that at some point. Do it, do it. Lots of tenancies coming up again. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Okay, 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 okay. So, if... 
Hold on. All right, appreciate it. you got those extensions. Appreciate it. Um, right. I've got to look at a property we've got in this area, which would be the ones that you can kind of switch to. Aiden is ending the soonest, and he is currently at this property over here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The other properties we've got is Masonic Hill. This one. Or we have Candy Road. I don't really have much choice or what I could really do with this place. But I'm just thinking of ways in which I could maybe add in some of that classier furniture. Now I know, when, you, when, I, when I look at it, I know that um, Caitlin over here, I mean, Aiden was pretty happy at one point, but Caitlin's been pretty happy for consistently at the minute. So she enjoys this house. This house is, an, it's only an 88 though. Right, Oral Lake itself was a 121. And I'm just thinking if I uh, replaced and um, put in some of these antique stuff in one of these houses, or do I just save it for something a bit better? It's a tough one, isn't it, guys? It really is. Now, this dude's a barman. And he is pretty much neutral at the minute. So I don't know how you can potentially win. I honestly don't know how you can win. Um, so right now, then, we've got a hundred grand in the bank. Got decent money coming in. You know, lots of money coming in. Uh, that loan that we originally had is now dwindled down to only us owing 30,000. So I could pay that off. I'll be three grand a month better off, but I won't really see much of a difference. It'll take me 10 months to kind of have that money back that I paid off. I could get a quarter of a million dollar loan. Over 18 months will be 15,000. Right. That would then leave me with 350,000 in my pocket. Okay, see where I'm going with this? So that would be too expensive to buy. I'm looking at the current houses available right now. That is awfully close. The question then would be, would I make 15,000 a month more? Over here, very expensive. Over here, Again, decent. Now, that is the question, guys. And I'm going to ask you in the comment section right now. Do I get a $250,000 loan added on top of the money that I got and will get a little bit more money next episode? Do I then buy one of the most, well, one of the, you know, one of the expensive houses in, in the suburbs right now? And uh, do that up, rent it out, and hopefully get more than 15000 so I can then slowly pay off that big boy loan that I then have at this point. Hmm. It means I'm going to have to then start paying 15000 back. I mean, I, technically I could do it now. Because payments are making 32000 anyway. It just means I'm going to have an, a, a loan as well at the same time. Do we do it? I think we do, but I feel like we need more money in our pockets before we go down that road. Because it's one thing buying the property, it's then another thing trying to afford all the stuff to renovate in that property. So yeah. Also, let me know in ways in which I can kind of uh, increase the happiness of, of tenants and stuff like that. What would be the best way for me to do it? But guys, we'll end it for here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.